Hey everybody, Anne here, and I am fishing today. I hope I can get some panfish, you know, some bluegill, sunfish, crappie. They're easy to catch, they are easy to clean, and they are delicious, so wish me luck. There's no spot. Actually, I've been walking all up and down this area here, and um, I'm just kind of chilling, drinking a beer. Oh, check that out. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? And, uh, yeah, so let's see if I can catch some fish. Wish me luck. Not too big, but at least I caught one. Haha, <laughs> let's see if I can catch some more. Fish number two, and yeah, it's a keeper. I threw the other one back, could have ate it, but this one is definitely big enough for me to gut and eat. So yay, doing not too bad today. And check out the girl. She's being so good. She's just in that cool grass over there, letting mama fish. Yeah, she's just kind of chilling out over there. Glad I've got her, her drops, her tick flea and tick drops. Um, it might be time for another dose. No, I think I did that at the beginning of this month. Well, but she's being good. Yay! Oh yeah, you're a pretty fish. I actually feel a little bad because in a little bit I'm gonna. Cut your head off, getcha, take your scales off, and uh, fry you up in a pan. But you know what? Circle of life, my friends. Circle of life. Fish number three. Well, you know what? I think it's just a little bit too small to keep, so I'm going to throw it back. Okay, fish number four, I guess. Um, <sighs> you know what? I could eat this. Yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep this one. I'm definitely going to keep this one. It's bigger than the other two I threw back. So, yeah. More fishies for me. In case you guys were wondering, I am fishing with um, red worms, red wigglers, and I think they call them wax worms. I don't know, grubs? I don't know. I don't know. Those, those kind of like tan worms. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. So, um, I just finished off the last of my wax worms, I guess you call them. And now I'm getting ready to start on the red wigglers. I hope it gets me lots of fish. Fifth fish. Fifth fish. Say that five times fast. Uh, it's not as big as the biggest. It's not as small as the second keeper that I got. So, yep, we're going to keep this one too. I wish it was bigger, but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to get... Maybe four or five of these, cook them up tonight for dinner, and it's going to be delicious. Giving up. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Um, I'd already cleaned the other three. See, they're no longer in there. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep this one, too. Right on. And another one. Hmm, should I keep it? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep it. But you know what? If I get any more this size or smaller, I'm not going to keep them because I've got plenty for a meal. All right, so it's been a good day fishing. I've been having fun, man. This has just been great. All right, so here they all are. I'm done for the night. I think it's gonna start raining. Uh, not a very big container, but I think there's five or six, of, mm, four or five of them. I don't know, lost count. I caught a whole bunch of them, but uh, yeah, they're gutted. They are scaled and uh, they are ready to be dragged through seasoned flour and thrown in the frying pan. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. All right, just as I was starting to try and cook this outside underneath my tarp <laughs> or canopy, whatever, it started raining terribly. I was drenched, so I've got these hanging up right here. Uh, I've got the coconut oil heating up. And I have got the fish, not all of it, just three of them. I've got two more I'm going to save for tomorrow. Um, in this flour mixture, I used a little bit too much flour, but there's salt, pepper, garlic, cumin in there. And in a minute here, I'm going to toss them in the pan. Yeah. All right. Number one. Oh, my goodness. They smell so good. That's the last of the coconut oil that I had, so not a whole lot. I need to maybe get that heat up a little bit. Another one. And... Mm. 
the last. All right, let's let these cook. I cannot wait to see how they taste. The lemon juice, why not? I think that's more than enough. <laughs> this, this band is gonna smell like fish, oh my God. All right, let's let it cook. Best pan fried fish I've ever made, but you know what? I ran out of uh, cooking oil, and um, but you know what? I think this is gonna be pretty good, so let's plate it up and give it a taste. Here we go, and believe it or not, guys, I do like to eat the tails because they're super crispy, but I don't know if they're gonna be that crispy this time because I didn't have a whole bunch of oil. But let's give this a little taste. Um, well, here's a little piece that I had pulled off. Oh, look how good that looks. I hope there's no, hope there's no bones in it. Let's see. Mm. It is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It is very delicious. However, it could be crispier. Next time, I'll have more oil. Oh my goodness. The seasoning is perfect. The lemon really comes through very well. And I just kind of pull it off the bone. Yes, I eat the skin and everything. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Oh my God, this is delectable. I don't even care that it's not all that crispy because the meat inside is so tender. This has been an awesome day. And you know what? I still have two more fish left to cook tomorrow. Mm, 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 mm. All right. So I'm going to have some more beer and some more fish because it's supposed to be raining all night. And uh, I don't know what else I'll do to entertain myself. All I know is today has been a really good day. And uh, tomorrow's going to be even better, I hope. We'll see. All right, guys. Last bite. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.